fair and honest reporting. And that sometimes got us in trouble. It got us in trouble during the Vietnam War because the networks were very anti the war. We tried to play it down the middle. And the uh, newspapers, a lot of them were anti the war, and there were demonstrations all over the place. And I remember when the National Organization for Women and the uh, Vietnam Veterans Against the War came to see me, and they wanted us to run spots for them, saying we should get out of the war. And I said, we're not going to run spots for you. In fact, we're going to run spots for an organization called Vietnam Veterans for a Just Peace. And these guys were saying there should be an honorable ending to the Vietnam War. And I said, we're doing that because there is so much information on the network which was anti the administration's position that we want to be fair and balanced. And the National Organization for Women and the Vietnam Veterans Against the War went to the FCC and tried to have our license taken away at license renewal time. And the FCC did an investig investigation which lasted a very long time, and the FCC said the KSTP is one, maybe the only station that really played it fair and down the middle and didn't take sides or twist the news in favor of one side as against another. So we were vindicated. But they threatened us, and you know, it was scary. If you read the, the anchorman across the street, our, it was the number one anchorman in town for a long time. Dave Moore died and wrote a book. And in his book, he brags about how he used his, his uh, seat as an anchor to influence people's opinions about the war, just like Cronkite did. That's why I have very little respect for Walter Cronkite, because of what he did during the Tet Offensive. I, uh, we've always said that an anchor person should report the news and not have their opinion influence what they say in the news. And there's, based on that, uh, the, the Cronkite uh, report, basically, uh, J and President Johnson said, "If we've lost Cronkite, we've lost the country." And there yeah, was, it and was it a big just, turning point. You know, and I don't, and I think Cronkite did something that he should not have done. Now, a lot of journalists respect him for that. I disrespect him for that because, as it turned out, we won the Tet Offensive. We being the you know allies. Now, whether you think we should have been there, that's an entirely different subject. But we were there. There were American men and women being shot at over there, and we felt that we should report the news right straight down the middle. The Tet Offensive was unsuccessful, but it started out with a big bang, and Walter Cronkite went on the air, and boom. I would not allow any of our anchors to do such a thing. And when a guy writes a book and brags about how he used his position as an anchor, I think the public has to trust a news organization to give it the facts. And what my dad used to always preach, and I preach, and my son and daughters preach, is that let the, let the facts speak for themselves. The public can make up their mind based on the facts. And we have never, ever strayed from that, nor will we ever. It's the way we are.